Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Down Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jones, you are the man on sticks. I'm holding it. And we are playing Madden 20 oh, the Super yeah, Bowl, are. baby. Oh, God dang. The big old brownies in the bowl. I didn't drop the GD. I said the dang. Brownies in the bowl, like yeah, always. You said the S word last video. Go back and find it. Oh. YouTube, go find it. Demonetize that video right now. I hurt. I hurt. That's all. <laughs> I hurt. I hurt because I did that. <laughs> That's funny because it's me in the scary videos because, like I said, I, I, I fear swear. Yeah, I fear swear. <laughs> and it's always you in the passion talks because you passion swear. <laughs> I do, dude. <laughs> Remember I'm talking about something that, like, I'm like, I'm like, F that ass. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> You, you passion swear. I, I don't have to passion swear. I I, I get passionate. And I start using big words. That's, <laughs> that's my high too. Yeah, you drop juxtaposition. In the last one. I do. I do. It's I, all good though. I, I like it. Get into my vocabulary. Or I get passionate. Yeah. Don't you get me passionate? <laughs> How dare you get me passionate? anti dislike stabilitarianism. <laughs> anti disestablimentary I don't know. I forget. That's awful. Yeah, that word. Anti dish establishmentarianism whatever anti disestablishmentarianism yeah it's hard man it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of like different words that are hard to say regardless know, it's yeah. all put together i hate having to say hard words yeah hard hard words suck hard words do suck man <laughs> it's okay. funny because i can't spell for crap man like i it's do F O R C R A P. Funny. <laughs> Funny, Jonas. This is why we need to stream deck with the laugh track. <laughs> yeah, that'd be like the, that 70s show track. Like, Because <laughs> that's the only time anyone's really going to laugh at that. <laughs> you know, it's funny, man. Like, those the shows with the laugh tracks, uh, like this, they were some of the better shows. Yeah, and it's like, it's like you don't even realize it's there, but you notice when it's not there. Yeah. Like, and then it was the whole, like, this is taped in front of a live studio audience. I'd be like, oh, okay, I thought that was fake. Yeah. Boy, they do have signs that say laugh. Ah, <laughs> uh, they did in the applause sign. Yeah, applause. Like, yeah, they come out, and it's like, applause, applause. And, like, do they have laugh sign? That's awful, Joe. That is so. I mean, you're there for it to be the aesthetic of the show, though. Yo, I'm not laughing. I'm not either, dude. I'm you not laughing. You put a laugh sign funny. up. I'm not laughing. I'd be the guy who'd be laughing at the stuff in the show that you weren't supposed to laugh at. You'd hear like my one, my one like, ha! like in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? So you you've been to like live taping or something? No, I like haven't. That? No, I remember one time where I was at the taping for something. It may have been like just a bullcrap infomercial or something. I can't you remember. Went to a taping of an infomercial. I don't remember what the context of, but I do remember. I was young, but I do remember them having the applause sign that would light up. And I remember like the guy with the clipboard and the and the dockers, he came out and he was like, all right, everybody, when the applause sign goes up, I need a big clap from everybody. And we really, and he was like, just kind of like. Right, he letting was, you know how to be the monkey of the show essentially like everybody in the yard is like dur, 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 you know like, <laughs> like, dur, 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 dur. like you know if you see applause make sure you clap and they're like oh my god i would have never thought i had to do that <laughs> i was <laughs> i was gonna take it a little deeper <laughs> it was almost like he tried to give you like the feeling of like you worked on the show now right yeah exactly he was directing yeah. you like you were getting paid for this right it, yeah exactly and it was just like I guess, you know, a lot of people were just like, oh, okay, it's important. We have to clap now. The clapping is important. Right, 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 right. And we're part of the show. Dang it if it didn't work, Jonas. Like, all all the sheep old clapped whenever it yeah, was. Pe people want to be a part of something. And They're going to be like, I heard myself clap on David Letterman. You know, or like. Uh, that's my distinct laughter. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I have been to a taping, but it, I, now that I think about it, it wasn't a show. It was like I went and saw like Dave Chappelle do stand up, and they were recording yeah. it all yeah. for a Netflix special. So like they cut and chopped over like a few shows of his. Oh. And I went to see another comedian in Cleveland one time. They're like, "This is being taped for a Comedy Central special," but maybe that's what it was. Yeah, like it was, but it wasn't like I didn't go to like a taping of Family Matters. You know what I mean? It wasn't like in a studio. It was in like a concert hall. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember what it but was. But they did but come out and go, like, "Hey, everybody! You know, if you if yeah. you get up during the taping and leave, you can't come back in because we're recording, and you yeah. don't we don't want noise. You know. Yeah. It was uh. Yeah. I saw Dave Chappelle live. 
Yeah, he's yeah. good, man. He's pretty good. He's really good live. I saw, you know, I saw him when it was really small. I saw him at, what was it, the, uh, the isn't there improv in downtown Cleveland? I believe so, yeah. I think I saw him there. So oh, it was that's a awesome. Small so a long time venue. ago, too. Yeah, it was a very, very small venue. It's down the flats. Yeah I, yeah. I was literally, I would say, like, I don't want to, I'm not trying to pump up Dave Chappelle at all because I don't do that. I don't pump up no celebrities on right. this channel. But I was probably within, like, 50 feet of him the entire time. We had decent seats. We got there early. Oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was funny. I don't remember a single joke that was told. Oh, there. yeah. You just remember seeing him. I saw, um, you know, what else is pretty good live doing stance? Tosh. Yeah, I he, he does a lot of like edgy ish comedy yeah. that probably nowadays wouldn't be so acceptable because he does a lot of like taboo stuff, man. Like he, he does. I've yeah. seen the show. Yeah, I know what um, he does. But his like his stand up compared to his show, the stand up is like pretty good stand up. He he's pretty good at delivering jokes and I stuff. See that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's I was I was I walked away going like, oh, he's not just like a, a you know he you could tell he was a comedian first before. And see, like, do you do you remember like anything memorable from that experience? Tosh, yeah. The only thing I remember about the show, to be honest, is that he, when he walked out, he brought his two dogs that were always on Tosh Point oh. He carried him, he carried him out in his arms and like gave him kisses and stuff, and then like let him off the stage. You know, he uh, plays that whole like that whole like weirdo dog guy. I have to say, Jonas, is that 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 sentiment right there, and the fact that I saw Dave Chappelle like early Dave Chappelle. The only thing I really have to take away from those is the fact that I can tell the story. It's, right. a, it's a story I can tell, but other than that, it really holds yeah. no value. I don't remember any joke he told, but I remember like things that happened at the show. So with that being said, like that's kind of like the way that I look at going to concerts now. Are we done? The game isn't over. No, that's how I feel about going to concerts now, and that's kind of how I feel about travel. It's like I don't really see the the long-term value in it besides the immediate experience is a hundred percent great but then after that it's like what what did i get from it well right you know and like sometimes you maybe like met a, you have like a good conversation with a stranger but it's never about the actual show it's about stuff that happens at the show yeah it's like it's never like oh my yeah. god remember when remember when dave Chappelle told that joke about grapefruits and it was so funny you don't ever do that yeah but besides i mean just the i'm talking about like more broad line the experience itself like aside from like i guess like the butterfly effect interaction with the experience like if that experience didn't happen i wouldn't be standing at where i am right now i don't see any value in the experience <laughs> because oh. going to a concert going to see a comedy show I talked to a guy the other day, Jonas, who told me that he was going on a $15,000 trip to Hawaii because he wanted to take his wife, his entire family, and he was like, yes, and uh, he was like, I'm taking my sister and like, paying for all these people to go, and he's like, round trip, it's about $15,000. I looked at him and I was like, why would you spend $15,000 on that? Why would you spend $5,000 on that? Why would you spend 1000 on that? Okay. Because, yes, it's a fun experience at the time, but the experience is only immediate. What benefit does that have for you in five years? In five years after you spent $15,000 on Hawaii, what are you going to have to show for it? A story. Yeah. Or a memory. Like, for fa like, Memories but see, but that's a, but that, but that's, but dude, that's a family thing. I, that's like, it's like they want an experience with their family. You know what you can do for fifteen thousand dollars oh, with your family? You can get a car. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> right now, that has value. In five years, that car is still going to maintain value, not one hundred percent. Because yeah, you can get into an accident. There's a bunch of stuff that could happen, but that has value. Yeah. So some people value memories. Some people value possessions, though. Dude. They're basically buying an experience. I get it. Though. I'm not even talking about like the different. Like the possession means more than the memory because I will 100 percent say is that the memory of no. my. Uh, there's a bunch of first time memories that I wouldn't trade for the world. A hundred percent. Right, right, right. Like I threw an interception. You're not gonna. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear, big guy. You, I think you got it though. I mean, we're losing now, but I got it. <laughs> You're not gonna like take the memories away of like my grandparents or like my mom. I'm not gonna trade those memories. There's certain memories that 
they need to be there. But I don't feel like I have to pay for for valid no. memories. And I, don't I have agree. to pay your memories don't mean more because you you spent fifteen thousand well, dollars. And, on and them. You know, that's a really good uh, point you bring up because like I have I've I was I was a guy who saved not every ticket stub of stuff I've done, but a lot. And yeah. I was able to put them together in like a like a collage type thing that I have hanging on the wall. I have like four of them. I have so many things I've yeah. been to. It's a lot but of like it, A lot of them. I mean, I probably, like, if I looked at the ticket, could think about who I went with or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, do I remember the actual show? Do I remember like the band and what they... Yeah. Not necessarily. Maybe I remember like a little something. But like, it, I don't know. Yeah, and it's weird. Because like, it's not even... Yeah, it's it. Yeah, I get, but I get what you're saying. Like, All right, and I'm not. I'm not trying to downplay people who do that. This is just. Uh, this is strictly myself, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Is that that's the way I look at things of that nature. So if people ask me, and I came to this realization only after I heard that astronomical price. And I actually, it, this has been on my mind for a while. That fifteen thousand dollars for your entire family to go Hawaii. I'm like that. Is, People do that all the time, though. It's crazy. I mean, I yeah, and I, I get it, but I was just like, that's too much. It was just, that price tag was so big that it just sent me into this self introspective like, like, headspace <laughs> of like, what the f is happening in the world right now. <laughs> But yeah, so if you like to go to concerts, I say go to the concert. If it's an experience that you want to have, I'm not trying to say is that people should change their mindset. It's just myself. Um, I mean, like I said, there's the whole butterfly effect thing. If you hadn't gone through all those concerts that you have been through, you wouldn't even be the same person you are today. Right, exactly. Like every experience you have has made you the person you are today. Just not doing one of them could definitely... Uh, okay, we're only down by six. That's good. Um, <laughs> it, you know, could definitely change who you are as a person because you know it's like, yeah, because like you you may not feel any different because you went and saw New Kids on the Block in concert, mm. but that could have had an effect on you that you don't know it had on you by going to this show and seeing this or that or whatever happen, yep. or going to that sporting event, or you know, and some people it's as much as like I met my future wife at that concert, or I, you know, oh, see? You, you know, things like that. See, okay, I see, I see the value in in, in rolling the die, I guess. Right, because you're gonna you, put yourself with people that you would never come in contact with yeah. otherwise. Like I went to that I went to that wrestling event. I, I tell the story about the wrestling event, and then I met a kid that I went to like, uh, like yeah, ju- yeah, like preschool with. And or he, something. You guys were sitting next to each other, and you I were like, like, "What the heck?" And that's but that's all I really have to take back from it, right? That's it's, really, um, I don't remember I'm, anything about. And the I'm trying wrestling. to think, to be honest, if I've ever went anywhere like out of the ordinary like that, where like there was a life changing experience that. Have I, I've went to a ton of stuff. Was there ever a life changing? Life changing. Like, you know, like I met a girl I dated for a year, or I, you know what I mean? Just like random stuff, like, no. you know, something that had a very long lasting effect on. Now, here, here's, here's something to even try to counter my point. Um, if I had not attended so many parties back in Ashtabula, right? I would have never, I, we would have never met. No, we would have met. Because I. If because uh, we would have met because um, I met essentially met you through uh, Z, yeah. But I met him through a girl I knew at school that dated him. So if they would have never met and dated, who knows what would have happened? Oh because, my God, Jonas! <laughs> and if my parents had never had sex, right? So that <laughs> like, but that's really the catalyst because like I knew who Z was. I had seen him around. But I, he went to a different school, so I would have never interacted with him. And then you were friends with his brother. We yeah. went to school together, but I'm, we weren't. I'm saying we would have met, but our relationships um, have gotten stronger over the fact that I attended certain events. Oh, my God. We're going to lose the Super Bowl. We have, they just scored. They, the defense gave up a touchdown. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> no, it's not. I, I brought us back, and then the defense screwed us, dude. It, uh, no, I was more more or less saying it's like you can get as much of that the memories and not have to spend the money. I don't have to go and see uh, little baby perform live or Drake perform live or my chemical romance. Yeah, I don't listen to rock fine after you, uh, but I don't have to see any of those people performing live and spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on these trips to Coachella and South by Southwest in order to have life experiences yep, definitely gonna lose. that matter. 
I don't know, Jonas. We I'm, are absolutely going to lose because the ball won't effing spike. I've, I've come to a realization yeah, we're lose over the Super Bowl. here. Thanks. You, you made that clear. I'm sorry to hear hey, it. Well, it I, means the computers. I mean, we. <laughs> it's the computers. <laughs> I mean, we scored and it, it came the up, and then, and then the defense gave up a touchdown and left us 30 <laughs> seconds with no timeouts. There's not much we can do in that situation. Anyway. It's, 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 yeah, man. I'm not happy, dude. I don't like losing. You don't like Especially the effing <laughs> Super Bowl. We haven't lost a game all GD season. <laughs> I think I lost last year's Super Bowl too. It was it was probably because of my my deep introspective talk. I want yeah. you I want you kids to think about this stuff. This is what this is what deep thinkers do. All right. One final shot to what? Lose the game? Oh, you are going to do what? He might go tied it, mother effer, dude. See, I tied the game. We got some OT. <laughs> Jonas is always sandbag forever sandbagging dude that could have not went that way he had that plan from the very beginning of the game you should work right before we start i'm behind baseball we're behind the scenes inside your your mom we're, wow. but before the game started jones was like dynamite i'm gonna get the game really close and then i'm gonna tie it up now yeah. we can still lose but oh well yeah Woo. i mean <laughs> we could still lose life Oh wow! This point. They didn't because if they would have scored there, we would have lost. So, I mean, I guess if 15k is like a drop in the bucket for you, right? I guess it's all relative too because like if you're like Bezos and you're like yeah. I spent 15k to take my family to Hawaii, I still feel like that's a waste. I know. I mean, there's people that we know that have like. Disney timeshares that cost them thousands of dollars a year so their family can go to Disney twice a year and then they spend other money on top of that big you know and they got to fly their whole family there so it's like two grand in plane tickets you know it it, it is weird Jones because I remember when I was like young and like I was living paycheck to paycheck and everything like spending the type of money that I, I spend nowadays is just like it would be like what are you doing with your right, money? right right exactly yeah so yeah, I guess there's that. But even still, I I, I would not. I just don't see the, like when you went you went to London, or you went to England. You went London to, in, in Scott in Edinburgh, to, Scotland. Yeah. You asked me if I wanted to go, and I was like, I, I was I was apprehend, I was hesitant the entire time because of this like this method of thinking. And and you went you had some you had some experiences. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it really ultimately wasn't like crazy expensive. It wasn't like cheap. But I didn't spend fifteen thousand no. dollars. Nowhere near that, you know. No. And if I wouldn't have found a, if I wouldn't have found a, uh, a cheap flight, uh, if they score, we're gonna lose. Um, if I wouldn't have found a cheap flight, I would have never. I'm, you know, what I mean, I'm, I'm in the same accord of you. Like, I'm not gonna spend ten k to go somewhere, dude. Yeah, but I ain't gonna spend fifty to go somewhere. Right? That's where I'm at. <laughs> I don't even give it a fifty dollar price tag. You, I don't see twenty. <laughs> I don't. If if I gotta go somewhere and buy drinks, I'm like, no, nah, yeah. I'm good. Like, to be <laughs> what are you to be talking? honest, I don't. I don't think hot take London was really worth it. <laughs> uh, Scotland, I would absolutely. I would. Oh, and we broke a ninety four uh, yard touchdown to nice. win. Nice. I would go to Scott. I would pay to go to Scotland again because I want to like experience it differently. Uh, you know and. It, it, it is it is 100 percent subjective because you say you would go to Scotland again. I would say I probably the only place I would want to go would be like Japan. If somebody was like, "Hey, I can," I that would be cool too. I just want to see it. Uh, yeah. So I, yeah, I guess. But it's just it's all about how much you want to see something. It's hypocrisy, Joe. I'm a hypocrite. If, just, I, if somebody said a thousand bucks to go to Japan, I'd be like, "Hell yeah, let's right. go!" Exactly. Right. Hypocrisy. I like how it, that all comes to fruition at the end of the video. <laughs> like oh, you yeah, spend this this notice. whole video talk, and at the very end, you're like, "I'd pay a grand to go to Japan." F. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just beat my whole my whole argument in one. I would. Yeah, I, I would scrimp and save. Yeah. Oh, right. It's all about yeah. where you feel like going, and it. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Arigato. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, man. Teach yeah. their own, my friend, you know? Dang it. All right. Well, yeah, it beats my point, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I had a whole time. I hope they made it to the end of the video to realize. <laughs> the whole video talking about how experiences don't matter. Do you only... <laughs> <laughs> Experience. That's my thesis statement. <laughs> 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 I 
this doesn't matter. And then at the end, you're like, I'd pay a grand to go to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> we always do the best jokes at the end, man. I hope they, Hopefully really they stay for the whole video. Oh, goodness. Experiences don't matter. <laughs> the Super Bowl. Experiences don't matter. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. That is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, call your mama and tell her to come hang out with us. <laughs> but for Jonas and, TNT Dynamite. and the Super Bowl champion Cleveland Browns. Yeah, boy. We uh, Ora, auta. Oh.